Like a stainless, you're acting like you wanna be bailless. Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how I achieve my high bun without risking my edges. Um, Amani hair piece which I have washed, conditioned and soaked in vinegar to remove the alkaline I shall put a link up here to, sh to show you how I remove the alkaline coating from my hair to reduce itching and I've just got some single strands which I'm going to show you what I do with these later achieved because usually I just flat twist my hair in like four um, going down so I'm gonna leave because the parting's not that bad and to be honest your partners don't have to be perfect so I'm just gonna wet my hair and the products I'll be using today is water in an Aussie bottle and my trusty eco styler gel I'm gonna need two ties a little rat tail comb now I haven't got my glasses so I can't really see that great and this is the problem with me every time I do a YouTube video so please if the patterns are not on point yet yeah, you can make sure your patterns are on point but I can't really see you know I'm literally looking in the viewfinder which is like yay big you know what I'm saying so anyway the object is to put your hair in two pieces yeah one in the front one in the back yeah so the front bit's gonna have less hair because you don't want to put too much hair in this bun and that's what's going to help reduce the pullage and the breakage that you may get when you're wearing your hair up so I'm just going to like show you how I do it I'll just fluff up my hair because it's still in like the twisties and just go around the perimeter of my head get those edges Then just get my little brush, my denim brush, and I'm just going to brush that up. The first bit, it's not tight. I'm not doing it tight at all. Very loose. Very, very loose, yeah? See? Very loose. Not tight at all. There's no pulling, there's no tugging, nothing at all. I've barely wrapped that bit. Any bits that are puffing up, I will put um put them i will um clip them down with one of these clips yeah so we're going to just do the same thing to the back of the hair and right now it's like this so again you can still see where my problem area is i just can't be asked now i just don't I just don't bother with it so anyway smoothing up the hair smoothing up the hair so I can get it as forward as possible, you see, forward as possible to this butt. Okay, and then we're just going to do exactly the same thing. Very quick, very easy hairstyle to achieve. Oh, my hairband busted. As I was saying, very quick. Very easy if your hair bun down busts up on you. You get me? Close together. So this is why I need these loose pieces. These loose pieces are to go at the back of my little bun. Okay. This can be tricky if you are like me and can't see and using the viewfinder as your mirror. So again, I'm just going to pin this. It doesn't have to be neat. Don't you worry about that. As long as it's got a bit of height and a bit of width that's what you're looking for because you're going to take your main bit and you can make this bigger i was looking at it and i was thinking god i should have made it way bigger but i would make this bigger and i'm just going to attach it to the front of the hair and the reason i did the bun really loose because you've got to go over this one quite a few times to get to stay and there you go okay so you attach that like that and then you're just going to literally just wrap it around the back of that one and come in again around around and then you just tuck in the remaining pieces and for extra 
extra security, get your little bobby pin. Get your bobby pin, just waiting for that battery to dead you. <laughs> get your Oggy King. You want to just kind of pin it in place and shape it in that the way you want it. Okay. and cover that hair band. And then you get your scarf of choice. I have a nice satin scarf, my favorite scarf. And I go from the back, over my ears, tuck it like this, bring the middle in. So I don't mess up my bun and I'm just gonna tighten it like that and let it sit on my head for about 10 minutes hi guys like it's been about 10 minutes made myself a peppermint tea found love and hip-hop episode 3 so let me take this out because you know I'm gonna be watching that in it anyways um separating your hair like this like creating two buns definitely reduces like the headaches you can see my hair's not tight at all the edges are still there i don't sleep down my edges i'm full c it doesn't work for me it will look cute in the beginning and halfway through the day i'm just going to be left with like these things just puffing up at the side of my hair what i do like doing is like taking bits here and coiling them that looks cute but not today because i'm wearing my glasses and yeah so this is the finished result I hope you can see <laughs> I hope you can see guys I'm trying to do all sorts of acrobatics so you can see all the way around my headpiece don't know how good it looks at the back never see the back so that's the back that's the side <laughs> that's the other side <laughs> sorry I'll say I don't know what's got into me today guys but yeah I was just woke up really hyper and really like I don't know I feel good about myself today even though I've had like the worst worst week like in terms of dating and stuff I think I should I mean if you want to hear my little dating catastrophe story then leave a comment below and I will I will make a story time about it I don't really do story time too much because I always leave out major details and I forget things and then <laughs> I'm like oh shit I should have included this should have included that um, but you know at the time when you're just talking like with me I just talk and it just comes out like word vomit so like comment subscribe to my channel I shall be coming back again with another natural hair tutorial i'm so sorry guys that i have been off this um, natural hair game as i said in my previous video a lot has happened a lot of people were affected in the london bridge um incident um my baby's father was actually there on that day he was working in borough market and it's just been a lot to kind of settle back down and get everything everyone feeling quite safe and normal and then also my mum's best friend which I consider my auntie was involved in the Grenfell Tower she lived on the sixth floor hallelujah she got out but she suffers from manic depression she's lost all her stuff and it's just a lot for her um living by herself in a different area well not a different area but they've moved her like she's living more kensington now where she was living like bang in the middle of latimer you know so the community is a lot tighter there whereas the the more you go out the richer it becomes the community kind of dies down and everyone just kind of keeps themselves to us to themselves so i just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that you know supported um people that got affected by the london bridge terror attacks and the grenfell tower it's a very sad ordeal lost a lot of people we knew and yeah just want to say a big thank you to all those people and thank you for you guys for, for watching my video subscribing to my channel i'm going to do a big shout out video because i've had like since the time that incident happened like in a month i've received maybe about 50 new subscribers and i really really appreciate you guys and i'm going to do a shout out video just for you new subscribers because i think you definitely deserve that and i shall see you in my next video bye